Good morning. This weekend, Robert and I had an extraordinary adventure and I wanna share it with you. It was extraordinary for two reasons. First, we went downtown for the first time since the shutdown on March 16th. And I'll tell you about that. It was really unsettling. But second, we went downtown to Robert's law office to clear it out after his retirement. But he had not been there since the shutdown, since March 16th, 2020. So both of those events were quite extraordinary, but one more than the other, one left a deeper impression on me. And that was clearing out Robert's office after 40 years of downtown lawyering. 40 years of commuting downtown, 40 years of providing for his family, 40 years of being a faithful servant to the law, a dedicated husband, a loving dad. There was a lot of emotion as we moved him out of the office. Now he has been in other law firms, but moving him out felt representative of his body of work as he moved into a new life with me, retired. <laughs> I love having him home with me um, as we're both retired, even though he does have a little law practice still. But nonetheless, even though I love having him home, moving him out of the office was left a deep impression on me, mostly of gratitude, of deep gratitude. We feel so lucky to have had a provider like Robert. And I wanna show you a little bit about the adventure. The drive downtown reminded us of how long that commute really is. That's something that Robert definitely won't miss. The streets were eerily quiet and empty, and many businesses were closed. As we entered Robert's building, what was once a bustling high-rise was also just still and empty. No three-piece suits rushing around, no high heels clicking on the ground, just silence and one valet. The Aeon building has 60 floors and Robert's office is on the 60th floor. And as we entered the elevators, I thought to myself, how many times has Robert taken this elevator up to the 60th floor? I'm glad I was with him for his very last ride. But once you get to the top, the view is spectacular. Wow, there's a 360 degree view of Los Angeles from Mount Wilson to Catalina. And you can really see the density of Los Angeles from the 60th floor. Robert bought a terrestrial telescope for the firm so that they could all really enjoy the view. This might be one thing that he'll miss about being downtown. Once we entered the offices, there was not a soul in sight. It was rather eerie. We visited on Friday, which was the last day before the business was going to open up for the first time uh, after the pandemic shutdown. Inboxes were full and plants looked a little bedraggled, but the computer stood at the ready to be powered up for the very first time that next Monday after over a year of shutdown. As we stepped into Robert's office, it was just as he had left it. Briefs were open waiting to be read, to-do lists on the desk, just as if he was going to return the very next day. Here we are at Robert's office at Morrison and Forrester on the 60th floor of the Aeon building. And so we are going to clean it out because he did retire, as you know, we had a little celebration. 
but we never, he was never able to remove personal items from his office because uh, of COVID. So look at all the fun things. There's marbles, there's a space capsule, there's the planets. My husband, Ever the Astronomer, And you can't beat the view from his office. But I have to say, after 9-11, I always had great trepidation when I thought about him being up here on the 60, on the 60th floor. Thank you, Robert, for these 40 years. Now, on to our next adventure.